Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Uh, you guys remember the video I did, 40 minutes staring in front of the camera, talking about how I had to move back to Windows XP from Windows Vista using VMware. Uh, that's what made it possible so I could connect my USB devices from within Windows Vista using a virtual machine of Windows XP. VMware was the only platform that made it possible. So I became a big fan of VMware at that point. And then, of course, when I started using OS X more, I started using VMware Fusion, which is their product for OS X. I love VMware Fusion. And not just because, look, they're a sponsor right underneath my dog right now. They're, they're in our logos in our videos. Uh, I love the product. It's fantastic. Uh, and I, I've tried just about every virtualization software that's out there. The idea of a virtualization software, virtual machines, is that you can have an operating system running within an operating system, which allows you lateral maneuverability. So instead of having to reboot to access my Windows XP software, I can just pull up the virtual machine. And I can use the same virtual machine whether I'm accessing it through OS X on a Mac, Windows XP, or that virtual machine of Windows XP on my Windows Vista machine. Oh, it sounds kind of confusing. Bottom line, it's very cool, it's very nice, it's great for compatibility and software testing. So we've got a top five tips for virtual machines of any variety or any brand submitted by Eric Cumby. And uh, Eric, of course, is a, a one of our, uh, well, like I'd say, uh, more active users at live.perillo.com and on YouTube. Certainly well enough to know that I take top five tips of any kind. Uh, so the top five tips for using VMs or virtual machines. Number one, store virtual machines on a separate drive. One of the biggest performance bottlenecks in VMs is the disk I.O. rate. You can greatly improve VM performance by storing your virtual machines on a separate hard drive rather than your boot drive. Sorry, storing your VMs on the same drive that's just got a different partition won't do it. So if you've got two physical hard drives in your system and you boot from this one, well then put your virtual machine on this one. When you set up a virtual machine, uh, you have the option uh, to pre-allocate all the disk space that that virtual machine will use. For instance, my uh, XP virtual machine has four gigabytes or so of hard disk space, and I preset it in the beginning. So that way, every time the virtual machine launches, it doesn't have to do anything dynamically because, I, I, again, I'm trying to go for performance. I only have one hard drive in uh, this particular uh, laptop, though, so that, I, I guess, does kind of... Uh, hurt me a bit in terms of performance. Number two, don't pay for anything that you can get for free. A lot of VM software costs a good bit of money. Microsoft offers Virtual PC 2007 as a free download, as does Inatech, who offers VirtualBox as a free download. VMware is the leader in VM technology. His words, not mine. They offer VMware Server for free. It's kind of a halfway between VMware Workstation and VMware ESX. VMware Server is available for Windows and Linux operating systems. It is true, Virtual PC is available for Windows. If you want to have a virtual machine of Windows running on top of Windows, I do recommend Virtual PC 2007. It was an acquisition uh, that Microsoft made in recent years. They really haven't done much with it, though, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's not very powerful, but it does work at a basic level. The reason why I'd recommend Virtual PC for free is that you can do all your software testing in the virtual machine. Let's say you download something from the internet, you don't know if it's gonna screw up your computer, run it in a virtual machine. Because then if it does screw up your virtual machine, then your real operating system, your regular computing environment won't be touched. That virtual machine is like a virtual PC. It's like, pretend that, that, that all that, that, that PC is just sitting right here in this little thing, this little window. And you can close it when you want to, but that's a full-fledged operating system sitting right there, close. Microsoft makes it available, virtual PC, for free, but if you want to do, uh, I mean, not not just uh, advanced stuff, uh, but if you're talking about uh, virtual machines for Linux and beyond, and virtual machines in Linux, then you definitely have to deal with VMware, especially if you're having Windows Vista problems. I've been recommending VMware uh, as a solution because with VMware uh, on both VMware Fusion on the Mac as well as VMware Workstation on the Windows, what you can do is you can connect any USB device into the computer and the virtual machine will pick up that USB device. So let's say you couldn't get, like for me, I couldn't get my printer, scanner, fax, whatever combo working inside of Windows Vista at that time. But I could get it to work within Windows XP. So I plugged it in and I told the Windows XP virtual machine in VMware, okay, detect that USB device. It went do 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 do. Well, that's, it sounded better, of course, but the idea was that it picked up on the device and it worked perfectly. I was able to use my hardware thanks to VMware. Number three, 
And I just mentioned this, test new software on a virtual machine. Instead of trying new software on your primary computer, create a virtual machine to test it out. VMware Server offers a snapshot feature that lets you create rollback points so you can use to restore your test virtual machine in case something goes wrong or you don't like some software. If you have a lot of extra hard drive space, you can also convert your operating environment to virtual and use that to test with. If not, next time you reformat, you can always use the VMware converter to create a clean version of your system in VMware. Semantic Ghost also allows you to convert a ghost image into a virtual machine. Number four, always install virtual tools. The virtual tools make working with VM, these virtual machines, a lot easier. They provide special drivers for input, video, network, and other system devices that improve performance. It also allows you to move your cursor back and forth between your host and the virtual machine without having to manually, manually change focus. Usually you have to toggle with a keyboard shortcut uh, to go from within operating uh, within the virtual machine to operating within your regular operating system. And by the way, if any of this is confusing, download Virtual PC for free. It'll become a lot less confusing in a short amount of time. Trust me, you'll love it. Once you, once you understand the power of virtual machines, you, you're hooked forever. It's what's going to make it so much easier for me to switch my entire life away from Windows to OS X uh, here in a few more weeks. Number five, run resource-heavy development servers in VMware. If you're a developer who likes having a test environment, then on your primary machine, your primary operating system, but you don't have to drag down your system when you're not using it, try setting it up in a virtual machine with networking and only turn it on when needed. And then FTP, SSH, or HTTP into it to do what you need to do. And then shut it down when you don't need it. Uh, you know, I, I've said this for a long while. I think the future of, of computing in the short term is going to be tied up in a virtual machine. Certainly in the server environment, uh, virtual machines are a lot more important, uh, not only for security reasons, but for stability reasons as well. Performance reasons are certainly getting there. Uh, virtual machines for the win. Uh, anybody else out there? I know there are people in chat right now. I don't usually interact with people in chat because sometimes I'll get sidetracked by reading their comments. Hopefully you've been reading if they've been posting good comments. Board College Kid, I used a VM to test my Oh, to test Enlight, customize XP before I installed it into my actual hard drive. There you go. Case in point. Now, I'm reading this from the chat room because the chat room is happening like inside the video that we stream out live over the internet. We stream live video every day. And we're typically talking technology, uh, whether it's about software, hardware, the internet, tips, tricks, reviews, suggestions. You know, I don't know everything, and certainly nobody knows everything. Not even Wikipedia knows everything. And... Uh, it's important for us to know that we're here for each other. We're kind of a community. Uh, that's how I, I, I have come to accept these top five tips. I may know a little bit about this stuff, but it certainly sounds like Eric knows and has been dealing with virtual machines a little longer than I have, at least from a development standpoint. Uh, Eric sent this top five list to Chris at Perillo.com if you've got a top five list related to tech or not, especially if it's not geeky. I love those top five lists. Again, my email address is chris at perillo.com. And if you want to join in the chat room, uh, you're, you're welcome to. As I said, we're streaming live video uh, and audio. Obviously, I mean, the video would be kind of boring. It'd be like me doing Charlie Chaplin every day if I didn't have the audio with the video. Uh, and sometimes my dog is here. She's always in the chat room, though, aren't you, Pixie? This is Pixie. Yeah, you good? You good puppy? Oh, she's got puppy dog eyes right now, I think. Because uh, she wants a T-R-E-A-T. -E she doesn't know how to spell yet. Thank goodness. I haven't taught her that yet. She's a bot. We, re we named one of our IRC bots after Pixie. But if you want to chat with us about tech or maybe even cute puppy dogs, well, then you're welcome to join us. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hey, shh. Shh. Don't, don't say it too loud. She may be able to read. She can read. She just can't spell. I know that makes no sense at all. Anyway, we're there seven days a week at live dot perillo dot com. We'll see you later.